Hey there, everybody. Recent topic I saw on Facebook on the Chief Experts was when you do a cantilevered colonial say like this and you got this underside, how do you control that material? So I'm going to show you one way right here. There's a number of ways, but one way which people don't think about is that you can use rooms, invisible rooms. So if I take this and I I use the exterior wall and I just draw a wall here and one right here right through. Yeah, I know it's not lining up, but we'll get it fixed. Then we'll do this and use this tool align with wall above. And then this one here, align it. This one here. And that's that's aligned. And we'll have to break this right here. And then I'm going to make this an invisible wall. And the same for here. We're going to have to break this first. Select all these walls and make them uh, invisible. Now you notice here when the wall went through the porch, it divided these into different. Um, I'm going to turn my reference display off. The porch room divided this in. So, so what do we do? Well, you can actually select these rooms right here in 3D. And the first thing I'm going to do is actually raise the floor. And then I am going to say no floor under this room. And moldings. Uh, there are no moldings, so let's just, we don't have to delete them. But if you did have moldings like use floor default, uncheck it and then delete it. And you'll get a room and you'll actually get drywall up underneath here. Now this room picked up the room of the porch, which is good, and just copied it. So you got a ceiling there. And then this room, we just need to open it and do the same thing, raise it up. It doesn't matter what height, you can make it 60. No floor, go to the moldings tab and make sure there's no molding and click OK. And now you have a ceiling under there. Now it's a drywall ceiling. It's not exactly what you want. But you can change that by going into the room and defining the ceiling in the structure tab. We'll edit it right here. Delete. And then change this material to a siding. Let's just click right here in the, I don't know, tongue and groove, like right there, like that. White. Maybe make it three quarters of an inch. Click OK. OK. Take a look just so we see what we got. And there you go. Now I might actually um, turn these, hit 90 here on the texture tab. Hit 90. And there you go. And then you can use this little trick here. You can select this room, click here for the match properties, select all, click OK, and then hit this apply properties and go over to this room and apply it. Now on this other room, we can't do that because it's a different floor and, but we can go like this and go ceiling and we'll go ceiling finish, ceiling finish name, Click OK, hit the match properties here, and just click it right there. And you will have assigned those finishes to that room. You can also actually apply the trim through the room. So if we go in here into this room again and we open it, go to the moldings tab, add new, dash 001, which is your baseboard basic molding by chief. And hit OK. Now let's make it one by five and a half to top crown mold. That's important. Pick that. It'll put it at the top. And then again, use your match properties. Just select all. Hit OK. And then apply properties over here. And then we can do this again, I think. Um, 
moldings, crown moldings, and click OK, and then apply. And let's take a look. Sometimes they'll put it at the wrong elevation. Yeah. So it's put it at the wrong elevation because this room is not the same height, this little room back here. So if we open this and we just do this, see how the number changed right there? Just by switching these, hit OK, put it up at the top. And you got your trim work underneath there. Then to put the, like a face trim on, I'd move up to the second floor, use a molding line, and just right click and do this continuous drag. Open it, add new, dash 001. Let's make this one and maybe seven and a quarter, like a one by eight. And then on the general tab, let's put it at 108 and put that to the, not to the top, and not uncheck this extruded side polyline. Then you can drag this right to the face and pull this over here and pull it back till it hits this line. Let's take a look, and there you go. And that's a pretty fast way of creating this material here. And uh, there's another way we can use molding polylines, which I think is actually faster. So let's just take a look at that. Okay, the next way of doing this soffit is to use molding polylines. So let's go to the floor plan here. And I have a hotkey ML for molding poly for a molding line. And I am going to right click and drag and drag and drag. And then I'm going to add a new molding for the soffit right here. Make it 16 by 1. On the general tab, set this to 109. And then click this to the top. And I don't, and I do want to extrude that to the inside. And if I pull this here and pull this here, pull this here, let's take a look. There's your soffit. Now, that works fine if you're using a solid material. But if you were to paint this with like a, a I have a material in here, white tongue and groove. And you paint that, you see you get this line because you turn the corner. So if you want to fix that, you can just eliminate this line, pull it back, and just run it straight across the face. And then that looks pretty good. And then we can open this and add another one, dash 001. This time we'll use a vertical, make it one by five and a half, minus 1.25. No, no, we don't need a, we don't need that. I might say minus one. There we go. And, and then this would be minus 16. I'm not sure. We'll have to check. No. How about if we do that? Oh, command Z. Open this again. Make sure you click the right molding and unclick this un and then hit it. OK, there you go. Now we have our underneath piece. Now we want a piece that kind of wraps around the corner here. So you can't do that with this molding we've created. So I'm going to go up to the second floor and create another molding line. Start it right there. Get that click. Right click. Go like this. And then pick up this snap, add new, dash 001, pick this, one by nine and a quarter. Um, I'm going to set this at oh, 108, and then 
not extrude inside polyline and not to the top. This will be to the bottom and click OK. And then we'll have our snaps and just pull them in, pull it in, pull it in, take a look. There you go. To me, that's the fastest way to do this and uh, a little easier than runes and not so complicated. The thing with runes is you never know what kind of conflict you're going to get into. What, you know, what, what if you had a more complex porch here with a roof or something? It can get pretty complicated. This is pretty simple. Uh, you can get your corner trim here and put it on. Two quick tips on how to do that soffit. Hope that helps.